Today I want to talk about a couple things you can do in your internet browser to make the experience more enjoyable. Hey guys, it's Sam, back with The Blind Life, helping you learn how to live your best blind life. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. So yes, today I wanna to talk about some things you can do in your internet browser that will make it easier to use or just basically enhance the experience for you. Now, I'm gonna be showing you this in Google Chrome because I'm a Chrome user, but a lot of these things can be applied to many other internet browsers out there. We're basically gonna be talking about three aspects that you can adjust. The first one is the built-in browser settings, adjusting the appearance of things to make it easier to use. The second is applying a theme to the browser. And finally, the third is adding in extensions. Uh, in Chrome, they're called extensions. I think in Firefox, they were called um, add-ons or add-ins, plugins, something like that. But these are things that will enhance the experience. All right, without further ado, let's jump into Chrome. So I've launched Chrome here and I'm in YouTube. I'm on my YouTube channel. And the first thing I wanna do is go into Chrome's settings and see what we have available there, what we can tweak, what we can play around with to make Chrome easier to use. Now, to get into Chrome settings, we're gonna go all the way up here to the upper right. You'll see three little dots. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna drop down a menu and we're gonna go almost down to the bottom until we see settings. I'm gonna click settings and that is going to open up the Chrome settings page. Now off to the left side here, you'll have a bunch of categories. We're going to click on appearance, there it is. And then that's going to jump us into the appearance section here in the middle. So there's a lot of things in here we can play around with. Some of the most important that I want to touch on today, uh, number one is the theme. This is the Chrome theme. We'll come back to that here in a minute. A little bit further down, we can adjust the font size. There's a little drop down window here. We have a wide range uh, all the way from very small to very large. Medium says recommended. That's what it's set for me. Here's the very small and then the very large. So you can adjust this to whatever's gonna work the best for you. Please keep in mind though that this does not affect all the text everywhere on the internet. It only affects certain areas, especially Google, or excuse me, especially Chrome menus. Just below that, you can customize fonts. And here you can set the font size again, but you can also set what font typeface is used for different situations. I've gone in and just changed mine all to Tahoma. Tahoma has been proven to be one of the best fonts for low vision. It's it's just a very plain, easy to read font or text typeface. It doesn't have serifs or any kind of crazy curly Q things coming off the letters. It's just very plain and easy to read. So feel free to go in here and adjust these to whatever you would like. And then finally in appearance here, we have page zoom. Now this is where you can adjust the size of the web page, how it's rendered and displayed. So those are the settings for Chrome here. Next, we're gonna look at applying a custom theme. And you can click on theme here. That's going to take you into the Chrome store. You could also just Google Chrome store to jump directly into this as well. By pressing that button though, it takes me to the theme that I'm currently running. And what a theme on your internet browser is, is it will change, or what it does is it changes the look of all of this up here at the top. Your title bar, your, your tabs, your bookmarks bar here, all of this gets changed and themed. It will also theme your new tab page. When you open a new tab and you get this Google search here, it will also theme this. So I'm going to come up here to the upper left and I'm gonna click on themes. And that's gonna take me to the main themes page here for the Chrome store. There are dozens and dozens, probably hundreds of themes you can choose from. There's some that are created by third-party individuals. There are some that are created by the Chrome team themselves. If you see a section here that you want to look at, they give you a couple previews, but you can also, just to the right here, it'll say view all. And if we click on that, 
it will open up all the themes in that section. So I recommend just going through here and playing around with them, trying some out. Here is a very high contrast theme. If I click on that, it's gonna take me to that page and I'll get a nice big preview of that theme. Some information about it. Up towards the upper right, you'll see a blue box and that says apply to Chrome or add to Chrome actually. If I click on that, it will apply that theme. And there you go. So we have added this theme in now. And uh, I used to use this theme a lot, this high contrast one, but they changed it up and I'm not crazy about it now. I don't, I'm not crazy about the blue anymore for some reason, I don't know. And this is probably gonna happen quite a bit that you're going to try a theme and you're just gonna be like, ah, no, I don't like it. It looks okay in the picture, but when it's on my browser here, I'm not crazy about it. So. Just go through and look around and see if you can find a different one. Let's try this one. There, that might be a little bit better. I kind of like the dark themes better anyway. So let's stick with that for right now. Next, I want to talk about extensions or add-ins or add-ons or plugins, all basically the same thing. These add extra enhancements to your internet browser. And one thing to know is that there are a ton of extensions for all types of things. So if there's an aspect of the browsing experience that is not working for you or it's difficult, see if there's an extension that will fix that. For example, I have been using the dark mode on Windows for quite a while now and I really love it. It makes everything easier to see here, this nice dark theme. And some websites have started implementing a dark theme as well. For example, on YouTube, you have a dark theme now that you can apply. But there are some websites that still don't have a dark theme. Um, eBay, for example, here, it's still this bright white. I don't think it has a dark theme anyway. I guess I could have checked before using this as an example, but it's, <laughs> you guys see that it's still this bright white. Here's another example. So this is my Gmail, and I'm running a dark theme on this Gmail which I've made a video about before, linked in the description box down below or in the info card. This dark theme is great. The only problem is that when I actually go into an email, it's still bright white. The dark theme does not carry over. If I go to compose a new email, bright white. So I think we can see if there's an extension that will fix this problem. Maybe there's an extension that will do a browser-wide dark mode. So on the Chrome store here, up in the top left, there is a search box. I'm just going to search dark mode. And we have a few options here. Gives us three extensions to start out with. Then we have some themes, so there's some dark mode themes as well. But if I go back up to extensions here and I go to the right, top right, more extensions, I click on that. And now we have the full list of dark mode extensions. And there's a ton. And these will do the same, all do the same thing. They basically do a an internet wide dark mode. Now I haven't tried all of these. There is one that I've tried. Let me search for it real quick. And it's this one, Dark Reader. So just like with the themes, I click on it here and I get uh, some pictures I can look at showing uh, screenshots of this actual theme, not theme, this extension. If I go back up to the top and I click on the Add to Chrome button, a window drops down and asks if I want to add that extension. I say Add Extension. And it should, yep, take us to the extensions page here to give us more information about it. And then another window pops down just saying that it's been added to Chrome. Now, if we go back to eBay, now eBay is running the dark theme, nice and dark, just like we want. If we go back to Gmail, nothing has changed here, but if I go back into that email, now the email is running the dark theme as well. If I go to compose a new email, this is all dark also. I can also adjust this extension. So if I go in the upper right side of the toolbar here is where all my extensions live. 
quick access to those extensions. If I click on this cog wheel, a list drops down of extensions and here's the one dark reader. If I click on that, another window pops down and this is all the controls for the dark reader dark mode extension. And you can adjust the set it to dark or light. You can adjust the brightness contrast. So if this here still isn't dark enough, we can adjust the contrast and make it even darker. There you go. We can bump that contrast all the way up and make it completely black if we want to. So let's see what eBay looks like. Yeah, so it's nice. You can adjust these things. And if you install the extension and you realize that it's just not the right fit for you, you don't want it anymore, once again, come up to this upper right, click on the cog wheel, find the extension. This is the dark reader. Off to the right, there's three little dots. That's a menu. I click on that and the menu pops out and remove from Chrome. And then a little dialog box opens up asking if I want to remove it and I just click the blue remove and it's removed it from Chrome. Go back to eBay, still dark, but if I refresh that, back to white again. Another extension that I find very helpful is text to speech extensions or plugins. So I just search text to speech, click on that, and we have a whole slew of text to speech plugins. Uh, once again, I haven't tried all of these obviously, but I have tested this select and speak plugin and it works pretty well. It has a little YouTube video we can watch to learn more about it. Today, people don't have enough time for reading and reading is impossible to do while multitasking. Until now, there's Select and Speak. Select and Speak can help. What this does is it allows you to highlight a certain section of text and then click a play button and it will read it out loud. So that could be very helpful for people that maybe don't need a full-blown screen reader, but still want something read out loud every now and then. For me personally, I don't use an extension. I just use the built-in text-to-speech that comes with Windows Magnifier. But once again, maybe someone that doesn't use magnification on their system, but would still like it read out loud every now and then, this could be a good option for them. Okay guys, so that was a look at several ways to enhance your internet browsing experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have a theme or an extension that you would like to recommend to the rest of the community, leave that in the comments down below as well. Don't forget to join me every week on the Blind Life Discord. Link will be in the description down below. I try to jump on here every Saturday after I post my new videos. So definitely check that out. Come on over and chat with us. Also remember you can check out the Blind Life website here, theblindlife.net. You can connect with me through the website here. You can also send me an email, sam at theblindlife.net. Also, while you're on the website, be sure to check out the Blind Life merchandise, Amazon shop, and Teespring shop. Here you can find Blind Life t-shirts and t-shirts about low vision, blindness, cane life, guide dogs, shirts for adults, children. Jump on over to Teespring where you can get phone cases, coffee mugs, pillows, all kinds of cool stuff. And finally, you can also get information about becoming a member of the Blind Life YouTube channel. You can click on the membership tab on my channel to learn more or link in the description down below. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. As always, Sam with the Blind Life, I'll see you next time.